Salutations, my name is Summer and this is Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats, <laughs> cat hair. Um, I wanted to do my read and currently reading for last week and uh, I only finished one thing. But first I want to tell you that if you go to my about on my channel, I've changed my email. I have a new email there now. My old email was acting really weird. Um, it was... It was doing all kinds of weird stuff. And then when I went and sent a message, it looked like down below it said get Outlook and it sent it to the, I don't know. I think it might have sent it to them and I'm thinking, I didn't do that. So I have a new email. And if you, any of you ever email me and I don't get back with you within a couple of days, please uh, let me know because, you know, sometimes they go straight to junk. I have no idea why, but it has happened. <laughs> Silly. Um, Okay, so what I've read, uh, the only thing I finished last week was Beguiling the Beauty by Sherry Thomas. Okay, so, and this was, I, I just thought this was so great. It was the type of romance I really like. There was a misunderstanding, but the truth comes out. Um, I would only give it like 3.54 stars because... Some of the things, <laughs> you know how romances are, but this ticked off a lot of boxes. I had all the feels with it. It's just, um, you know, there was a couple things that I rolled my eyes over, but this was a really good romance. And uh, I had heard about Sherry Thomas through Angie at Literary Labors. She was talking about a different book that she read by her and really enjoyed it. So I am planning to read more of these. It's a series, and I want to know about some of the side characters. And I'm hoping that that's the type of series this is, that I can learn about one of the other sisters in another story. But I'm not for sure. Really enjoyed it, so thank you, Angie. Um, so something I DNF'd. <laughs> And I feel so bad about it um, because the person, Danny at Spinelli Speaks, she recommended um, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness to me. And this was 24 hours long, so it was 44 tracks, and I got to 34 out of 44. So I really, <laughs> I really tried. I really gave this a go. Um, in the beginning, there was quite a bit I liked. I hated the romance. I don't like insta romance at all. Um, I don't, I guess I don't mind insta romance if it's like unrequited, you know, like if one of the person's crazy about the other and the other one's just like, I'm just not sure about you. Um, I don't mind that, but I can't stand it when the couple is instantly, both of them are that way and it's just, they don't know each other and Anyway, but there's a lot of great things in here, too. What oh, I finally had to DNF it, though, when uh, Matthew the Vampire was out doing yoga. And he had been out there for hours. And the, the, the sisters, who are witches, they were watching him. And they said, oh, he's been out there for a long time. And they, sa they said something like, is he okay? And then they said, is he cold? He's barefoot. I'm like, he's a vampire. You guys are witches. You guys should know all about vampires. Like your whole life, you should be told about vampires because you guys are witches. And it was like stuff like that through the whole book. It was either they knew things they shouldn't know or they didn't know things that clearly everybody knows. So that was why I just had to, like, at track 34, I was just like, <laughs> in the yoga scene, I was like, I just can't, I just can't, but I love Danny and her channel, Spinelli Speaks, and I will link it down below, so definitely check her out. Um, so something else I've set, I've set aside, I'm taking it back to the library, and I hope to read the book, another point uh, this year, is Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. So this is really short. It's only five CDs. It's only six hours of reading, listening. I got to CD three, and I realized I was not taking any of it in. 
And I have no idea. This is a book that I've always wanted to love. I've heard a lot of people like Una over at the can, uh, the Codex Cantina. I've heard him talk about how much he loves this book. There's a lot of people on BookTube who love this book. And yeah, when I got to CD3, I thought I could not tell you what this is about, really. Um, so I feel like, and Ethan Hawke is the narrator and I, he has a great voice. He does a great job. It's just, for me, some audiobooks I can't take in. And other audiobooks, I'm there the whole time. So I think this is a, one of those examples where I need to physically read it at another time this year. So I'm taking that back to the library. Okay. <clears throat> I just found out this morning that I'm going to be in another buddy read next month, which I'm really excited about. So I'm uh, mixing up, shuffling around my TBR for this month. And I've decided I'm only going to be fo focusing on three physical books a week and then an audiobook instead of trying to read six or more things where I'm just like in and out, in and out, um, because then it feels like I never get anything accomplished or finished. Um, and I like that because I like to sit with books for a long time. I know a lot of people say, oh, I want to pick that book up and I want to read that book and then set that book down. And me, I'm like, oh, I'm loving this book. I'm going to set it aside and read something. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense, but it's something I do. So this week, the three physical books I'm going to be focusing on is, of course, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. I am on page 969. This was my a book to my... Yeah, booktube spin. I was thinking, is that what it's called? Uh, pick. So, uh, An Equal Music by Vikram Seth. I'm only on page 10, so I'm going to pick this back up and focus on this one also this week of, you know, learning what it's about. And the last book, which back in November, I was planning on my, what I was going to do for January. And everything I had planned just got thrown out the door because other things happened. But I was wanting to read this whole series, and I know everybody has told me, read it in the publication order, not in the order. Because this is the prequel, but it was written last. And everybody says, you should read it last. <laughs> I've read Pillars of the Earth, loved it, and I've read World Without End, and I loved it. A Column of Fire, I think that's what it's called. Um, the third book, I have not read yet. Everybody said there's going to be spoilers. It's going to ruin it for you. I don't care. <laughs> I'm reading this one. I'm going to, going to reread Pillars sometime this year and then reread World Without End and finally finish it with A Column of Fire. That's the way I'm reading it. I know I'm wrong and I shouldn't read it this way, but I can't help it. And I have to tell you, I am on page... 2.30. This, number one, the print. Oh my gosh, the print is perfect size. So just where you could just fly through. It just seems to fly through. Plus, it's Ken Follett. This starts out, and I'm not going to tell you any spoilers or anything, but this starts out with um, Edward, who's eight, 17, 18. He's fell in love with a girl, and she's married. And he's decided that he him and her who have been having an affair, they're going to run away together. Oh, this is set in the late 900s. And his father is a boat builder and he has learned the trade through his father. But he loves this woman so much, he's going to go run away with her. As he's going around the corner to, to, to meet her in a certain place, Viking ships come into view and there's I don't know if there's 10 of them. There's a ton of them. And so he freaks out. He's like, who should I, you know, I, I need to tell her, I forget her name. Sunny, I think was her nickname. He's like, I need to tell Sunny. And then he turns around and he's like, I need to tell my family. Like, and so he runs up to the monastery and rings the bell so he can warn everybody. And that is how this book starts out. And so, so much has happened. 
Um, I, I'm just, I'm loving it. I love Ken Bullet anyway. So very excited about this book. Um, yeah. And the thing I'm going to listen to is Magic Lessons. This is Alice Hoffman's new book. So we'll see how that goes. Those are my plans. Um, I'd love to know what you guys plan to read this week or what you're working on or anything. So please leave a comment down below. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.